In this video we're going to take a look at how to work with Ant in Eclipse IDE. Now I'm assuming that you have some hands-on experience using Eclipse and I assume that you know how to run Java programs in Eclipse. If you're not used to Eclipse IDE and you've used a different IDE, for example IBM's NetBeans, then that's fine as well. You can just quickly download Eclipse and install it. It's an open source and if you're used to NetBeans IDE then this should be cakewalk for you. They both are pretty similar but Eclipse is a better one with better features. If you're a Java developer then you should get rid of NetBeans and start using Eclipse because this is the most popular IDE used in the industry. Or if you're not aware of any IDEs at all then you can check my course on Java programming. There I've used both NetBeans as well as the Eclipse IDE. Alright let's continue. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to import all the content in here into our Eclipse environment and then I'm going to build the project using this build.xml file and once I do that I'm expecting the var file to get deployed in the servers, servers web apps directory. So let's go to Eclipse and create a Java project. I'm going to give it some name my ant project or whatever the name that you wish to give. Click finish right click on the project, click on import, choose file system under the general category, click next and now choose the directory wherever your files are residing. In my case it's an e-directory. You choose that project or the folder, click OK, choose this as well as the build.xml click finish. Now let us open the ant panel. You can go to windows show view and then choose the ant option. If you don't see it then you can click on this other and then search for ant and just double click it or just choose it and click open. And then you have this panel open. Let me just pull it here so that you can see it. So this means that Eclipse comes with this and tool built-in. Now what we can do is to drag this build.xml file into this panel and so you would see that file along with its targets. So this is the file and if you expand it you would be able to see all the list of targets in it. Now all we have to do is we right click on this and then run as and build. You can also run individual targets if you wish. And then sure enough the build is successful. Before you run this program make sure that you're able to run a simple Java file and that will ensure us that the Java environment is set correctly. If that's the case you shouldn't be seeing any errors in here. And sure enough we have that var file deployed in the web apps directory. So that's great. Now note that Eclipse is reporting an error here. Let's see what it is. You're seeing all these errors because Eclipse is not aware of the servlet.jar file where our classes and interfaces are residing. But our ant file is aware of it because if you go to our project under the web enough directory we have provided that jar file and in our build.xml we're pointing to this lib directory as a class path. So there were no errors while building the project but in Eclipse you may be seeing these. To solve this problem we need to add the external jar files, choose class path, add external jars and then you can choose that file under tomcat lib directory search for servlet api.jar. Again servlets is something that I've explained in my servlets and JSP course. You can check with that if you wish. And then we got rid of all those errors and let's do refresh of the project. Clean all projects and you see that error going. 
but the intent of this video is to show you how you can use Eclipse to play with Ant so you're able to see all the targets in here and Eclipse will definitely come in handy especially if you have a very large build.xml file so you'd be able to see a quick summary of all the targets in it run individual targets just like so and then you're good see you in my next video